What's good? What's good? What's good? Another day, another video. Another night, another video, actually. We're at night time for this one. Um, this is going to be kind of an interesting video. I'm just trying to the, the topics discussed here. But, yeah, for one thing, I'll just start off saying the tide is changing in terms of the MGTOW part of that title. The tide is changing. The tide is turning. I don't know what this saying is, but times are changing. Um, yeah, I can just see that. But yeah, I'll get into the video. So thank you for tuning in to The Essential Business. Um, the Essential Business. Regardless of what the government tells you about essential and non-essential, you're tuning in to The Essential Business. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, eventually this channel is honestly going to be more about you guys than it is about me. So, um, yeah, that's some exciting stuff, but that will be in the long run. Right now it's about me and my ideas, so let's get, let's talk about those. Um, with all that being said, let's get into it. The new business model for small enterprise will be from the cloud to the ground. Another way you can think about this is the Jeff Bezos model. Even if you don't really like him or his business practices and how he keeps, he treats his warehouse workers not well and all that stuff, you've probably seen that in the news. I've never worked for Amazon and I don't know Jeff Bezos, so I can't say anything on that, nor do I know anyone that works for a warehouse, but I do know that from whatever on the internet, those are some shitty conditions. So I can't speak on that completely, but I can speak on his business model, which was pretty cool in general. The specifics, you know, he definitely used cookies and stuff, and you could argue whether or whether or not, um, like, using the technology was an invasion of privacy or whatever. Um, but it led to an efficient business model. Yeah, but I'm not going to talk about the specifics about how he used cookies and all that stuff. I'm just going to talk about the general cloud to ground and how that is the new model of business for small enterprise because of various reasons. But yeah, we'll get into that. So, so cloud to ground entails using the internet, i.e. the cloud. Um, to establish your goals and perhaps even the value set for your enterprise. So you want to use the internet to kind of get to just state your goals, state your goals. And then also with your content, kind of describe your values with your content over time, if that makes sense. Kind of like how I'm doing here. You can like put some clues of it in the titles. You can discuss it in the actual body of the content. You can use descript the description box or, you know, other, that's just, that's YouTube, but like other social media, like the what you post. Personally, I use Facebook and YouTube as my main two. Although I will probably move into like Reddit. I was talking about my friend, to my friend about that. Um, Instagram, I never like loved, but I mean, Instagram is like where a lot of people are doing like the cloud to ground model. And I've already seen some successful people that started on Instagram and now they have like a storefront out in Roseville even here. So I can't even imagine in the bigger cities like Los Angeles, obviously not right now because of COVID, but before COVID, I'm pretty sure there were probably several storefronts in big cities like LA if there were some in my small town of Roseville um, and Sacramento, I'm like a little bit, I live closer to Sacramento. I, I put my location in the, in the, in the, um, like little thing under the video, just because it's, that's just interesting. I mean, I want to see how that goes, but yeah, that just from where I live, you can see how that model is working. So initially you use the internet 
and then you can use social media platforms and their algorithms to gain that initial following of core people that are interested in you yourself and what you stand for so that value set so you can like these algorithms are honestly really good um facebook algorithm is interesting i'm still learning about that one but the youtube one is really good and if it just keeps pushing me up then like i'm completely down i'll have more videos on that youtube algorithm because that's pretty good i'm like i'm in shock about how good it, good it can be if you just stay consistent so um that's very interesting i could talk about that for days but to gain that initial following of court people that are interested in you. The thing about the internet is you can post content of you yourself, of you yourself talking about different things, doing different things, and people can get to know you before you even launch any product or service or tell your viewers about anything you want to do. You could just be yourself in general and then they can get attached to you and then you can do stuff after that. And it's just way cheaper to do things like get a camera and a microphone and some editing software than to do all this other random shit to try to start any enterprise. It's you can just launch yourself into one of these social media things and like use their algorithms and then kind of just be yourself honestly and over time it kind of works and i'm still i'm still in this initial part so i'll tell you guys later on if like it works fully or not because i'm like in this step of getting that initial core people 13 subs thank you for that and like yeah leave a like comment and subscribe but after this, you can create some pro like small scale things to go along with what you're doing. And this is where your creativity kind of comes in. So for me, I'm thinking like digital tokens, cryptocurrencies, um, things like that. But honestly, anyone can really do this digital token stuff because you're just tokenizing some data and then you can sell that. That's a strange concept. It's not that strange to be honest because it's already being done, but it can just be made easier and it can take out middlemen basically. Like that's kind of what blockchain technology does. Kinda, kinda, to be 100% honest, technology is really funny in that you can word a lot of things differently and they kind of end up being like what it was before, except it's worded differently and it's faster. And it's, and it's bigger, it scales bigger. So, you know, the, the digital token things, you guys probably, I mean, if you're interested in that, definitely follow this channel. Cause that's what I'm learning about. A couple of my buddies want to tokenize some artwork. So, I'm trying to like make some accounts from and use the Ethereum blockchain and that stuff is pretty kind of confusing but it's cool and I wonder um that's just an interesting it's an interesting thing to do so yeah that if you want a wild west of ideas just jump into that stuff um and you can have your following get behind them it's, it's easier if you have a following so you can just try out the ideas and see if it works. Um, and that's what the initial steps before that were for. And then with the capital from that, you can move to the ground, AKA what people call the real world. The reason you can't do that initially though is because everything's so inflated, right? That's like one of the big things that people don't really, they don't notice that much. That's kind of one of the reasons this channel one of the things I'm kind of trying to push here, the inflation is real. And if you want to do your own thing, you're going to have to escape just the overinflated. And I'm not just talking about the price, like just, um, it has to do with prices, but I don't just mean money. I also mean 
like bureaucracy inflated, the amount of things you have, licenses you have to get, and then obviously the money it took that it cost to have a storefront to get maybe the degrees you need to get into the field you want. There's a lot of inflation going on. So the so-called real world is inflated, but to bypass that, you can just start start small, start get a, getting a following, and then you can do all those other things over time. Or you could just issue all of that other shit and like, go completely on tech and then see what happens. Um, it's up to you, honestly. But once you kind of get your base on the internet, so in the cloud, once you get your base there, then you can go to the ground when you want and you can use the capital you get from the cloud and then f use that to fund your your real world, quote unquote, the ideas you want. So you can basically just play around at that point in the real world. And that's a different way of thinking about things. It's the Bezos model. So it's not, this is kind of new. Um, people don't really think this way. That's why I'm even struggling to say it because people don't really think this way. And I'm like kind of trying to do it too. So yeah, if you want to see me either succeed or fail, definitely subscribe. Um, yeah, whatever you get from the cloud can fund what you're pursuing on the ground. And then you can like really start wreaking some havoc if you want because as the world moves more to the internet, like these traditional structures are going to be tested by people like us, to be honest, that's, that's the goal. But yeah, notice how there's no bureaucracy to get through here. That's the power of this model and the power of algorithms. Why fight through a bureaucracy for years when you can use the algorithm and honestly just fight against yourself to keep consistent for maybe a year or two. And then the rewards you get after a year or two will be, will be a network. And with that network, you can go around and do other stuff while still building up a network instead of fighting through a bureaucracy just in order to gain access to a network. Why not just start building up your own network, in my opinion, doing stuff that you want to do. Like, so don't do anything you don't want to do. Like, I mean, to me, it's simple and I can't believe I didn't think about it earlier, but before this video gets too long, um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe and catch y'all next time. Remember healthcare network. That's what we're eventually trying to do here. Start from the cloud. Um, hope this is not up to 10 minutes. All right, I'll catch y'all later.